So in the previous week, we discussed about the introductory part of an impression material. So I hope you guys went through the video, found it useful. So let's move on to the individual impression materials. Now, impression materials, like I told you, are rigid and non-rigid. So rigid impression materials are impression plaster, impression compound, zinc oxide eugenol impression paste and impression wax. So we are going to start with these. The first video is going to be about the impression compound. So now impression compound is one of the oldest impression material that I used in dentistry. So it is also called as a modeling uh, plastic or a modeling compound. Now this material apart from being a rigid impression material is also a reversible material that is it sets by a physical change so when you are putting it in hot water it is going to soften up and when the temperature is lost it's going to harden up again so this material the reversible property enables us to reuse the same material in the same patient so this is most commonly used in the primary impression of edentulous rich now, what are the types of impression compounds? So there are two types. The first type is the impression compound, which is used for taking primary impression of the edential as rich. The second type is the tray compound or your green stick compound, which is used for taking the body molding in secondary impression. So now this impression material are available in different forms in a shop. So it can be available either as a cake, sheet, sticks or cones. Now, what are the uses of these materials apart from being used in primary impression? So, the type 1 can also be used in taking individual tooth impression, then in peripheral tracing, then type 2 can be used to check undercuts in inlay preparation and for making a special tray. Now, what is the composition of this material? So, what gives it its ability to become soft and become hard again? So, these are all the questions that need some answer. So, now, resin the copal resin and the carnauba wax. These materials give it a thermoplastic property which allows it to become softened when it's, it's put in hot water. Then stearic acid give, is a plasticizer. That is, it allows it to become more plastic and workable. Talc acts as a filler which plays like opposite to what of uh, your stearic acid. That is, it provides it more strength and reduces the plasticity. Now, coloring agent like rouge is used to just give it an aesthetic appearance. Now, let's move on to the properties of impression compound. So, the first property is the fusion temperature. So, now it can have two meanings. So, it is a temperature above which the material is going to lose its hardness when it's heated and becomes soft. Below this temperature, it is going to form or start to form a rigid mass because it starts to get cool. So for an impression material, when it is heated above 43.5 degrees Celsius, it's going to soften. So this temperature is accurate for taking an impression. Below this, it's not going to be softened enough and it's going to give us an inaccurate impression. Now, what is thermal conductivity? So it's the ability of a material to allow heat to pass through it. Now, impression compounds show very low thermal conductivity. That is, they are very poor conductors of heat. Now, the significance of this is that when this material is put in hot water, the outer surface is going to soften first and the inner surface is going to soften last. Again, when it is cooled, this material that is facing the tissue is going to cool faster. So, you should make sure that the impression is fully cool before you take it out or it's going to undergo distortion. Again, how are you going to ensure that a material is uniformly soft? You should allow it to be impressed in, immersed in the hot water for sufficient amount of time or you should knead it properly. I mean not or, you should make sure you knead it evenly so that it is just softened properly. Now, what is coefficient of thermal expansion? Now, for an impression material, this particular property is increased with increase in the composition of the resin and wax. Again, when the impression is taken out from the mouth, the temperature in the mouth and the room is going to be different. This is going to give rise to linear contraction of about 0.3%. Now, thermal distortion can be reduced to an extent in impression compound by two techniques. 
The first one is that once you take the impression, you take it out, heat the impression surface alone. That is the surface which is recorded the tissue details alone. Keep it in the mouth again. Do all the tissue all the tissue movements and record the impression again. This will make sure that the impression shows a less shrinkage and more accuracy. Or you can just heat the uh, sorry cool the tray so that the impression compound in contact with the tray is going to cool faster or in accordance with that in the impression surface. So you can just take it out without much distortion. So what is flow? So it is the ability of the material to just go into the details and record all these things. But for impression compound, sadly, the flow is very bad. So the detail is very less. So when it's soft, it should flow into all the details of the tissue contour. And when it's set, on the other hand, it should show very minimal flow. So flow is very less in case of an impression compound. So now again, let's talk about the impression uh, dimensional stability. So the cast should be poured immediately or else this is going to undergo either shrinkage and cause low dimensional stability. So uh, next is detail reproduction. So now it has very poor reproduction of the details of the impression surface. So now it's because of the high viscosity and low flow. Being a rigid material, even though it is softened, it does not flow like how a non-rigid material is going to flow. So the reproduction of the detail is going to be very poor because of that. Now, how do you manipulate these materials? So for a stick material, uh, that is a green stick compound, you're going to show it under direct flame so that it softens. So again, make sure you don't burn it, burn it or ignite it. Then it's going to lose the plasticizer and it will not mold properly. It will become brittle. So then apply it on the tray and take the impression. On the other hand, for a cake type of impression compound, you have to first put it in a water bath, soften it, knead it and then load it on the tray and take the impression. So this is how this process is performed in a clinical setup. So it, the impression or the cast that is poured should be disinfected with 2% of glue trial head for safety. So next is the advantages and the disadvantages. So now the advantages are that it can be reused. That is the material when it is kept in hot water, it softens again. So for that impression that you've taken, if it is not accurate, you can just redo it. Again, if one particular portion is not accurate, you can again do that portion alone by dipping it in water. So like I told you before, you can inflame the impression surface, redo the impression to improve the quality of the impression. Again, even if the periphery of the impression that you've taken with this material is not supported by the tray, the material having thickness and sufficient strength can support itself. Now, what all are the disadvantages? So, the first one is going to the poor detail, like I told you. Then, it takes the impression by mucocompressive technique. That is, the materials are like pushed, like compressed. So, when you do any kind of movement, the, car, the danger is going to come out when you do the impression by using this technique. Next is it cannot be used on undercuts. So it does not have flow and if it sets, you will not be able to take it out from these small interproximal areas and all those things. So that is going to be very difficult. So now that's the end of this video. So I hope you guys understood this topic well enough. So it's going to be a very important short note question and all these properties can be used as MCQs for NEAT. Uh, examination so if you have any queries comments or you want any topic to be explained again or you want any other particular topic to be given more priority you can always send us a message in the comment box or you can contact us in our instagram page cracking.n underscore so have a nice day be safe